In the first video of this two-part series, we showed you a number of the features provided by Fault Analyzer when performing interactive analysis on a Kix fault entry. In this video, you will learn about the remaining informational displays available for Kix fault entry analysis. The first two features we will discuss in this part both relate to the Kix trace available in the fault entry, which was recorded up until the moment the failing task is terminated. The first of which is the summarized Kix trace display this is a quick option to display the most relevant trace entries relating to the running application at the time of its failure. However, if you need greater flexibility when viewing the Kix trace, you can instead use the Kix trace formatting option, which lets you specify the trace entry format, such as an abbreviated or full description for each trace entry. It also allows you to filter for specific trace entries within the trace log, based on their domain and other criteria. While browsing through the Kix trace, you can also toggle between the abbreviated, short, and full display modes without needing to re-specify the formatting options. The seventh entry in the Kix information menu is the Kix Recovery Manager display. This panel provides a simple view of any recovery information related to the failing Kix task in a memory storage display showing the units of work and any potential file control information, as well as any applicable subsystem data. The Kix Levels, Com Areas and Channels display will list each link level in the failing Kix task, and show information about the related event numbers, program names, Com Areas, Channels and Containers. This will also show you which channels and containers were passed down to a running program from a prior link level. Kix Monitoring Data Display is a short formatted panel of specific data collected in the Kix Task Monitoring Area at the time of the task's failure. This can be boiled down to timer information with elapsed in CPU times, monitor counts showing the frequency of certain events during execution, and storage usage information. The Kix Event Program Information Panel shows a list of every program involved in the failing Kix task and provides a brief summary with a link to the Processing Program Table Entry, Stub Information, Programs Language, Number of Executions, and the Program's Execution Key. The final feature provided by the Kix Information Menu is the Kix Asynchronous Information Panel. This option will display a brief summary about any asynchronous children created by the failing Kix task and their current status at the time of failure. If you navigate through the task number hotspot at the top of this display, you will also be presented with an interactive diagram, providing an intuitive view of the relationship between the parent task and its asynchronous processes in a tree format.